So what is up you guys, it's your girl Young Africana back at it again with another video and today I'll be collabing with the beautiful Mayang Juf. Follow her on YouTube at Mayang Juf as well as Instagram, Snap, whatever the case may be. So today I'm going to be doing a full transformation, so hair and makeup. I already have her meeks done, I'm just trying to lay up her, her hair. And this hair is sponsored by Premier Lace Wigs. I have their, I think, Brazilian body wave in 22 inches and this is their HD Lace. So what I'm doing right now is just customizing her uh, wig just so it can match her skin tone. And I just put some Gossipy Free Spray on it so that the makeup doesn't um, create oils for it to lift up fast when I glue it down. So yeah, right now I just put the wig on her head and we're going to go ahead and customize and measure it. I'm cutting out the air tabs of where the lace is at just so we have a custom fit and just to see where everything lays nice and all that great stuff. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut some slits near her temple area. This is just to ensure that everything is laid down once I put down the glue and I'm able to really tug and pull at the wig without anything shifting. So I would definitely recommend this for my beginners if you guys are new to this, doing two slits at the temple areas of your head just so that you're able to get a really good fit. And right now I'm using my Bold Hold Active Glue and I'm going to apply that all over her hairline. As you guys can see, I didn't do the wig cap method, method today because we were lazy, I'm not going to lie. And um, as long as the wig cap is a little bit darker, um, you should be fine. You should be able to see the cap underneath. So I did three layers of those and I waited until it was completely dry before I applied the wig on. And right now, like as you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and have her hold down the tab while I'm pulling on one side and another. And I usually start from the middle and then I go from left to right or right to left. Now I'm just going to ask her to hold each side just so that the wig doesn't go anywhere while I'm blow drying the front and while I'm blow drying it this will really help the melt and really help that lace stick down onto her head. This is very important you guys you do not want to skip this step make sure you blow dry it down so the melt could get to melting. And right now I'm going to go ahead and use my elastic band and tie that around her perimeter just to lay down that lace into the glue even more. And I'm going to go ahead and place her underneath the dryer for about 20 to 25 minutes on medium heat to heat. And then I'm going to take my eyebrow razor and cut out the excess lace. And you guys cannot tell me nothing. This is looking like straight scalpiani, you feel me? Um, yes, but so right now to get the lace even more melted, I'm going to go ahead and use my got to be free spray and spray that all around her perimeter and this would just help it melt even more. Like there's no such thing as a too much of a melted lace. And right now I'm going to go ahead and part her hair in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and use my Caracare wax stick and I'm going to apply that on her part and then use my hot comb to press down her hair. By the way, that's not a hot comb. This is a hot comb. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use my hot comb and press down her hair just so it's nice and flat because it was just a little bit bulky and you don't want a bumpy wig. And now I'm going to go ahead and start creating the baby hairs and I'm going to take out a row from her perimeter and just start making her baby hairs. And I went ahead off camera and used the hot comb to press on the baby hair so it could lay flat. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use my eyebrow razor and cut her baby hairs. Now I'm going to use my Nairobi setting lotion and I'm going to apply that around her perimeter and start smoothing down her baby hairs with 
like this and I use my rat tail comb instead of a baby hair comb just because I feel like I have more control over it and I feel like I, I could be a lot more light-handed with this comb than the baby hair comb don't ask me why you guys just it's just my method okay but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and smooth out her baby hairs make sure they're nice and finessed and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on a satin wrap around her hair and let her sit underneath the dry for again for about 20 minutes and right now she's out of the dryer and we're gonna go and start styling her hair now I'm using my crimper and my crimper is from bedhead I forgot exactly what style it is but I'll definitely leave that down below in the description box and um, I went ahead and started crimping half of her head and as, I as soon as I started getting to the top that's when I took off her wrap and I'm gonna go ahead and use my hot comb to press out any of the product that's there just so that it doesn't give it such a harsh look because there is a line of demarcation from the scarf and you don't want that so as I got to the top that's when I took it off and then started pressing down her hair with the hot comb now I'm just combing out her baby hairs because you guys know if you guys are after kind of OGs I hate that hard looking baby hair look it's just I feel like it doesn't really look that natural to me depending on what style it is though um, but yeah I like combing out the baby hairs my preference, my style, my video, y'all can hit if y'all want. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my scissors and just cut off some of the baby hairs because I feel like it was a little bit too long. So I just wanted to customize it even more. And as you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and go on the other side and comb out her baby hairs as well. Young Africana, since you're editing this, what's up? I'm weak. You really gonna think something for me. <sighs> Hope you have fun though editing this. You know, it's lit. We about to go viral. <laughs> Do you see this way? Right Do you see this way? Right <sighs> yeah, niggas is bugging. Now since I've showed you guys how I crimp originally in one of my um, videos of how I make my wigs, I didn't really show the crimping process because I feel like it's going to waste my battery and all the extra stuff. So I just showed a little clip here. And um, yeah, you guys just want to make sure that you don't start too high because I hate that high looking crimp look. It's so ugly to me. But I mean, again, preference, preference, preference to each its own. But yeah, I'm just going to show you guys a little clip of me crimping the hair, you know, doing my little thing. And yeah. All right, you guys, so now that I am done with this hair portion, the last thing I wanna do is define her part because I feel like her part wasn't all I defined. And the last thing I wanted to do was to pluck. And I used the LA Girl Pro Concealer um, Foundation, it's a foundation, concealer. I forgot what the color it was, but now I'm gonna go ahead and use my rat tail comb and I'm just gonna like smudge the concealer in just so it looks so natural and not too opaque. Alright you guys, now onto the makeup. I already went ahead and did her eyebrows off camera and right now what I'm doing is creating this eyebrow base. I mixed it with my P. Louise base in Rumor 0.5 and uh, my Juvia's Place concealer in the color J6. I'm just going to press that in on her eyelids just so we have a nice base. And now I'm going into the Chocolates Mini palette from Juvia's Place and I'll be using this brown color as her transition color technically. I'm going to start off in the crease and then go outwards. Now I'm going into my Morphe palette. I forgot what palette it was, but I'm leaving it in the description box below. I'm going to go ahead with that orange color and then back into the chocolates palette and go into this dark, deep brown. Now I'm going into my P. Louise Rubber 0.5 base and I'm going to go ahead and carve out her cut crease. And what I like to do is do a little outline and then go into shading it in. Almost like outlining and then shading it in. Almost like coloring. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go ahead and use my buffer brush from Morphe. I'm just gonna buff out that 
base just so I have a nice even consistency and now I'll be going into my Juvia's Place I believe the nudes and I'm gonna go into this nice bold shade and then I'm gonna go into the Morphe palette and then use this nice bronzy color I'm just gonna go ahead and diffuse that all together just so there's no harsh demarcation between the colors now I'll be going in with my NYX matte liquid liner and I'm just gonna go ahead and line her eyes and you guys know I love my baby wing baby wings are it it's in you know I'm not into the whole wing thing anymore Now I'm going in with my Suva Beauty Hydra Liner FX in the color Taffy. I'm just going to put that on top of the black liner. And I'm using this wing liner pencil from Morphe. Almost all the brushes that I use are from the James Charles collection. So I forgot the numbers of it. I'm so sorry. But all the brushes that I'm using are from the James Charles brush set. Now I'll be going in with my NYX Glitter Primer. I'm going to go ahead and put that all over her lid to prep it for the glitter that I'm going to be using. And the glitter I'm going to use is from Bulk Glitters. Um, I got these glitters. I'm going to go in with a gold and then I'm going to go in with this nice bronzy color um, just to match the sequence that I did on the eyeshadow. Then I'll be going in with my dual lash glue. I have the green one. I'm gonna place that, like dab it around randomly on her eyelids just to place my chunky glitters. And I'm gonna use a gold chunky glitter and then a bronze chunky glitter. And I got these chunky glitters off of Amazon. You guys, Amazon's the beast. Don't sit down here and go ahead and buy these, you know, expensive glitters from random places. You guys, just get your glitters off of Amazon. Um, but right now we are done with the eyes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash her face with a wet towelette, and then I'm gonna go ahead and prime her face with Calamine lotion. Yes, you guys, Calamine lotion. And right now I'm going with, into my Uma Beauty foundation in the color 1C, and we're just gonna put that all over her skin. And I'm gonna use my Morphe M439 brush just to buff that out into her skin. Now I'm going back in with the Juvia's Place Concealer in the color J6 and I'm going to go ahead and highlight underneath her eyes, her T-zone area, all that extra jazz. Then I'll be using my foundation brush just to buff out the edges of the concealer. This we have a nice and clean finished look. I use this as my trick, say if you have trouble blending and you feel like you're always, you know, never ending blending. <laughs> so that's my little trick for blending. I, you know, just drag out the concealer with my foundation brush and yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my Ulta brush and I got this from Kiki Adams like I've been watching her videos all the time and this brush is a beast like I feel like it resembles the Real Techniques Instapop brush the smaller version but it's even smaller you feel me like <laughs> but yeah so I'm going to go ahead and use it underneath her eyes and then right now I'm using this random um, blending brush just to blend out her nose highlight. And now I'm going in um, with a disposable, you know, little makeup thingamajig. I don't know what it's called, you guys. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and use my Benai powder in the color Chestnut. I feel like this powder is a beast for dark skin tones. It's almost like, you know, a resemblance of the Laura Mercier um, Medium Deep. But I think it's a little bit deeper than Medium Deep. You feel me? So, yeah. I definitely feel like you guys should invest in this. And it's cheap. It was $13 on Amazon. Y'all know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but don't say I never put y'all on, okay? Now I'm going into my Saharan 2 palette. And I'm going to go ahead and bronze up her face. I'm going to use that really rich, dark brown. And I'm just going to go ahead and bronze her face. So, like, around her um, cheekbones and also around her forehead and also her nose as well.
Now I'm going back into that Benai powder and I'm going to go ahead and chisel out her cheekbones just so we get a nice and cut look, you feel me? And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use my disposable sponge. I lost, I lost, I don't know, I just lost the word. You ever just have a word that's on the tip of your tongue and you couldn't get out at that moment? I finally remember, you guys. It's a disposable sponge. <laughs> I don't know how I lost that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just chisel out her features because you already know we got to look cut, we got to look crisp. You dig? So you guys, I apologize in advance. Like, I lost, you know, a lot of footage of me putting on the lashes, putting on the the glitter underneath, all that, you guys. So I apologize so much. But um, right now what I'm doing is just I'm going to go ahead and press that powder into her skin. And now I'll be using my MAC Gold Deposit Highlighter. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight her nose and also her cheeks as well. Well, her cheekbones as well. And the glitter that I use, um, near the tear duct, I use the gold small glitter that I used in the beginning. And then going into the bronze one. And these lashes, you guys, I got from like, you know, these little Chinese vendors and stuff. So yeah. Um, but you can always find it off, off the Amazon or anything. And I went ahead and filled in her eyebrows real quick because I felt like we lost them when we had the powder. And now I'm going in with the black lip liner because she has a, deep, a deeper skin tone. And I feel like all the liners that I had didn't really suit her skin color. So yeah, I just use black. It ain't nothing wrong with using black. And right now I'm going to go in with my NYX butter lip gloss in the color i think from Boulay. and then now i'm going to go ahead and use a clear lip gloss on top of that and i'm going to use my morphe continuous setting mist and i'm going to spray that all over her face to set her face and now what i'm doing is just pressing in that setting mist so anything that you know i feel like were imperfections i can press that in and it can fix that and we are pretty much done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next segment. Deuces.